Hi everybody, my name is Barry Schwartz and this is the Search Buzz video recap. Today is Friday, September 11th and this is the search news we covered over at the Search Engine Roundtable at SAROundtable.com. First up, um, I posted my monthly Google Webmaster report. You can definitely check out what's going on over the past month at Google. Um, if you missed it and you were on vacation the whole entire month, catch up over here. The big things were possible Google Panda reversal. Um, Google announced that app interstitials are going to no longer be mobile friendly starting November 1st. Um, there was a new three pack that launched, um, which replaced the seven pack. Um, Google changed. Um, Google added apps, uh, the new design for apps and search. They added tweets in desktop search results, and they changed their navigation links from red to blue. They also went ahead and launched a brand new logo, and or said that their new parent company is Alphabet Inc. So now Google's part of Alphabet Inc. So those are the big things that happened this week. If you want to catch up on all the organic stuff, definitely take a look at that post um, and. You'll see what's going on there. This morning, I covered a Google Hangout by John Mueller, where John basically answered a question around structured markup and rich snippets, basically saying that Google currently does not use this for ranking purposes. They obviously use it for understanding your website better, as well as for the markup on the search results. But they don't use it for rankings currently. But he said it does make sense for Google to use it in the future. And John Mueller specifically said, over time, I think it, structure markup, is something that might go into the rankings as well. And it goes into why and so forth. So this is actually the first time Google has actually said a hint on anything around using structure markup in the ranking algorithm and using it for ranking content in Google search results. So maybe there's something that's going to happen in the near future. Hard to say for sure. Um, Google's index status report. We've been covering this for the past couple weeks at least, where it dropped in August, went back up in August, and now remains the same. That drop, Google initially told me, was a more accurate. Let me see if I have a post about it. So, let me show you a better screenshot. So there was this drop across all sites. You saw, remember this? I told you about this. Major drops. On the August 16th um, data around, I see August on August 16th it was fine. August 23rd it dropped. August 30th it went back up. But Google told us that August 16th drop that you saw before was specifically um, a more accurate estimation of how many pages Google is indexing of your website. And I asked Google why did it go back up, and Google said, "Well, truth is, there was a bug, and at the same time, approximately the same time, there was a bug." There is also a new way of Google how Google index or counts or estimates the number of pages you have indexed. So it's both. The answer is there was a bug, and Google actually did change how they estimate um, how many pages you have indexed. So that's important. Google made that change. Not sure how it impacts you, but just keep that in mind. That was around August 23rd. Google Panda 4.2, it's still rolling out. It started rolling out in July, I believe. Um, yeah, mid July, mid late July, on July 18th. And Google said it'll take several months. It's still rolling out according, well, Google said, Google was asked this in the Hangout, and John Mueller said, I'm not sure if it's still rolling out. I asked, they didn't get back to me. It has to be still rolling out. Um, so I'm just telling you it's still rolling out. So just get an update on that. It'll probably roll out for another several weeks. Um, Google supposedly is testing infinite scroll web search results. Um, so this was captured by Kevin Gibbons. He shared a screenshot. You can see in the screenshot, that it will scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll forever. He said his settings were not set at 100, that it was his normal settings. And for some reason, as you scroll, 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 Google kept loading more and more web, con uh, web search results. Google does this already with Google Image Search, but they never, they've never they tested it with Web Search. That was like years and years ago. And now um, it looks like Google's testing it again. It will be interesting to see if Google actually goes that route. Um, Google said that you your pages, when using the canonical or redirects, your pages do not have to be 100% identical. So if you have page A and page B, and they're very equivalent, they're pretty much about the same topic, they're not 100% identical, meaning the words on the page don't match, match exactly the same, it's still okay to say, Google page A, move to page B, even if it's not 100% identical. So that's important to note. Um, Google's John Mueller also said that he would avoid using the no index in the robots.txt file, he said people are using it. He said, really don't, it's not a good idea. Um, he doesn't explain why it's not a good idea, but he said it's not a good idea. The Google, Google My Business app um, has been updated for Android. It's gonna be updated for iOS soon. And it comes out with a bunch of other features, specifically a brand new design. It makes it a lot easier and simpler to make updates. It supports 24 hour businesses now. 
uh, helps you with the radius and postal code customer service. It also lets you quickly view your uh, business listings and search maps in Google+. Um, it gives you more insights into your analytics on Google Plus Reach, um, as well as um, you can see more detailed feedback about your business information. So definitely take a look at the new app. It's on Android. It's not, again, it's going to be coming out for iOS when I guess Apple approves it. Google AdSense is testing a new ad to AdSense format uh, for mobile, and specifically Anchor overlays and vignette ads. Um, and here's a screenshot of the beta. Um, Anchor is pretty much stick to the edge of the screen, so you can stick it on the bottom as the user scrolls, they'll still see the ad, they can quickly dismiss it if they want to, and the ad ads are basically between page loads, this ad shows up, you gotta wait or dismiss the ad for the next page to load. It's kind of like those annoying ads you see um, going forward. So Google AdSense is testing those. Google's testing on the AdWords side, uh, shopping side, shopping ad side, a new layout for the shopping knowledge graph ads. These tabs versus this look where it listed down the down the pipe here. It shows those different stores across the top. Um, I haven't seen it come up recently, but it's definitely been testing in the past week or so. Um, Google AdWords is changing how they uh, show you conversion data in their reporting. Starting, I think October fifteenth or mid October, Google is going to change how they consider optimization um, of your for their, uh, conversions, I'm sorry. So they're going to give you a new optimization setting where you can actually say these conversions should be included in the reports and these should not. Um, and so to get some more, a little more detail than that, you should definitely take a look at that. If you're using Google AdWords and using conversion data to figure out what your ROI is as well as to which ads you should spend more money on or not, um, definitely take a look at this because they're coming up, uh, those changes are coming up in a few weeks. Um, finally, Bing Ads has um, launched their Android app, so now you can manage your Bing Ads campaigns in Android. They have an iOS app already. Um, there's a lot of cool features in there that you can actually play with. Here's some screenshots if you want to take a look at that. Um, and you should definitely take a look at that if you're using Bing Ads. Anyway, thanks so much for listening to the Search Boss Video Recap. Again, my name is Barry Schwartz, and this is Search News we covered over at the Search Engine Roundtable at seroundtable.com. Just a little um, note. Um, start on Monday and Tuesday is Rosh Hashanah, the uh, Jewish New Year. I will be offline, so any content that I do publish on those days will be written either today or on Sunday where I schedule to be posted. Um, and I will be available to do the video recap on Friday, so you'll get all that news as well. And hopefully there won't be any penguin, penguin or panda updates over the holiday. Um, and anyone who's uh, Jewish and who celebrates the holiday, have a happy, healthy and meaningful new year, and I'll see you guys next year. Everyone have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys next. Bye.